You've seen icebreaker ships before, but never one quite like this. With a towering hull that stretches over 170 meters and a nuclear heart that pulses with unrivaled power, the world's largest icebreaker is in a class of its own. Are you ready to step aboard and unravel the secrets of this modern engineering marvel? Nuclear-powered icebreakers represent the pinnacle of polar navigation technology. These massive vessels are designed to slice through the thickest sea ice, opening up critical shipping lanes and enabling enabling scientific expeditions in the harshest environments on Earth. Among these behemoths, one ship reigns supreme, the Arctica-class icebreaker, a colossal testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of conquering the polar frontiers. In this video, we'll embark on a journey inside the king of polar navigation, exploring the cutting-edge technologies and innovative design features that allow this nuclear-powered titan to dominate the Arctic seas. What makes the Arctica-class icebreaker icebreaker so special? How does its nuclear propulsion system generate the immense power needed to break through multi-year ice? And what is life like for the highly skilled crew living and working in one of the most challenging environments on the planet? Meet the 50 Let Pobedi, a colossal Russian Arctica-class nuclear-powered icebreaker that holds the title of the world's largest and most powerful vessel of its kind. Commissioned in 2007, this awe-inspiring ship was originally named the NS Ural, but it was later renamed to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the end of World War II. With a length of 159 meters, a beam of 30 meters, and a displacement of 25,840 tons, the 50 Let Pobedi dwarfs other icebreakers and stands as a testament to Russia's dominance in Arctic navigation. The development of the Arctica-class icebreakers began in the 1970s, when the Soviet Union recognized the need for vessels capable of maintaining shipping routes in the harsh Arctic Arctic conditions. These ships were designed to replace the aging Lenin-class icebreakers and provide year-round access to the Northern Sea Route. The construction of the 50 Let Pobedi, however, faced numerous challenges and delays due to the dissolution of the Soviet Union and economic difficulties in Russia during the 1990s. Despite these setbacks, the 50 Let Pobedi finally entered service in 2007, becoming the flagship of Russia's nuclear icebreaker fleet. Its advanced design incorporates two OK-900A nuclear reactors, each capable of generating 171 megawatts of power, allowing the ship to break through the ice up to 2.8 meters thick at a speed of 1.5 to 2 knots. This unparalleled ice-breaking capability enables the 50 Let Pobedi to navigate the treacherous Northern Sea Route, extending Russia's influence in the Arctic region and facilitating the growth of maritime trade. Since its commissioning, the 50 Let Pobedi has played a crucial role in numerous scientific expeditions, research missions, and commercial voyages. In 2017, the ship made history by reaching the North Pole in record time, showcasing its ability to operate in the most challenging polar conditions. The vessel has also been instrumental in supporting Russia's ambitious Arctic development plans, including the establishment of new ports, infrastructure projects, and resource extraction ventures. As the undisputed monarch of the Arctic seas, the 50 Let Pobedi represents a significant milestone in the development of nuclear-powered icebreakers. Its advanced technologies, robust design, and unrivaled icebreaking capabilities have set new standards for polar navigation and have solidified Russia's position as a leader in this domain. But what powers this behemoth of the Arctic? The answer lies in its cutting-edge nuclear propulsion system, a marvel of modern engineering that enables the 50 Let Pobedi to conquer the most formidable ice-laden waters on the planet. At the heart of the 50 Let Pobedi's unrivaled ice-breaking capabilities lies its state-of-the-art nuclear propulsion system. The vessel is powered by two OK-900A OK nuclear reactors, each capable of generating an impressive 171 megawatts of power. These compact, pressurized water reactors utilize highly enriched uranium fuel to produce the immense energy required to propel the ship through the thickest Arctic ice. The nuclear reactors heat water to create steam, which drives four main turbo generators. These turbo generators, in turn, power three shafts, each connected to a four-bladed propeller. The innovative design of the propulsion system allows for precise control and maneuverability, enabling the 50 Let Pobedi to navigate through narrow channels and around treacherous ice formations with remarkable agility. One of the key advantages of nuclear propulsion is its ability to operate continuously for extended periods without refueling. The 50 Let Pobedi's nuclear reactors have a lifespan of several years, allowing 
allowing the ship to undertake long-duration missions in the Arctic without the need for frequent port calls. This self-sufficiency is crucial for maintaining a constant presence in the region and ensuring the reliability of maritime trade routes. To ensure the safe operation of the nuclear reactors, the 50 Let Pobedi is equipped with advanced safety mechanisms and redundancy systems. The reactors are housed within a reinforced containment structure designed to withstand extreme external forces and prevent the release of radioactive material in the event of an accident. Multiple layers of shielding and containment barriers provide additional protection for the crew and the environment. The ship also features sophisticated monitoring and control systems that continuously assess the performance of the nuclear reactors and associated components. Highly trained nuclear engineers and technicians work around the clock to maintain optimal operating conditions and respond to any potential anomalies. Regular inspections, maintenance, and testing are conducted to ensure the reliability and integrity of the propulsion system. In addition to its primary propulsion, the 50 Let Pobedi is equipped with backup diesel generators that can provide emergency power in the event of a reactor shutdown. This redundancy ensures that the ship can maintain essential functions and safely navigate to port even in the face of unexpected challenges. The nuclear propulsion system of the 50 Let Pobedi represents a remarkable feat of engineering, combining cutting edge technology with robust safety measures to enable the ship to operate in the harshest polar conditions. Its ability to generate vast amounts of power continuously allows the vessel to break through thick multi-year ice and maintain a steady presence in the Arctic, supporting scientific research, commercial shipping, and strategic interests in the region. With its nuclear heart beating strong, the 50 Let Pobedi stands ready to tackle the most formidable challenges of polar navigation. But what exactly are the capabilities of this ice-breaking titan, and how does it perform in the face of the Arctic's unforgiving environment? The 50 Let Pobedi's exceptional icebreaking capabilities are a testament to its innovative design and advanced technologies. With its reinforced hull and immense power, the vessel can forge through ice up to 2.8 meters thick at a steady speed of 1.5 to 2 knots. The ship's bow is designed with a unique shape that allows it to ride up onto the ice, using its weight to crush through even the most formidable multi-year ice formations. At the core of the 50 Let Pobedi's ice-breaking prowess is its nuclear propulsion system, which provides a constant supply of power to the ship's three electric propulsion motors. These motors drive the vessel's three four-bladed propellers, each measuring 6 meters in diameter and capable of generating an impressive 27.5 megawatts of power. This propulsion system enables the ship to maintain a continuous speed of 18 knots in open water and up to 2 knots in thick ice conditions. To further enhance its ice-breaking capabilities, the 50 Let Pobedi is equipped with an advanced air bubbling system. This system releases compressed air from the ship's hull, creating a layer of bubbles that lubricates the hull ice interface and reduces friction. By minimizing resistance, the air bubbling system allows the vessel to move through ice with greater ease and efficiency. The ship's hull is constructed using high-strength steel and is reinforced with an ice belt that extends from the bow to the midship. This ice belt is designed to withstand the immense pressures and impacts encountered when breaking through thick ice. The vessel's hull is also coated with a special polymer that prevents ice from adhering to its surface, further enhancing its ice-breaking performance. In addition to its ice-breaking capabilities, the 50 Let Pobedi is equipped with advanced navigation and communication systems. The ship features a state-of-the-art radar system that enables it to detect ice formations and navigate through even the most challenging conditions. The vessel also has a sophisticated sophisticated satellite communication system that allows it to maintain contact with shore-based facilities and other ships operating in the Arctic. To ensure the safety and reliability of its operations, the 50 Let Pobedi undergoes regular maintenance and upgrades. Its nuclear reactors are subject to rigorous inspections and are continuously monitored by a team of highly trained engineers and technicians. The ship's hull and propulsion systems are also regularly inspected in service to maintain optimal performance and prevent potential failures. The 50 Let Pobedi's exceptional capabilities and advanced technologies have made it an indispensable asset for Russia's Arctic ambitions. Its ability to navigate through the harshest polar conditions has opened up new opportunities for scientific research, resource exploration, and commercial shipping in the region. As the flagship of Russia's nuclear icebreaker fleet, the 50 Let Pobedi represents the pinnacle of polar navigation technology and serves as a symbol of the country's dominance in the Arctic. With its unrivaled icebreaking capabilities and cutting-edge design, the 50 Let Pobedi stands ready to conquer the challenges of the Arctic for years to come.
However, the success of its missions depends not only on its technological prowess, but also on the skill and dedication of its crew. The men and women who serve aboard this nuclear-powered Leviathan undergo rigorous training and follow strict protocols to ensure the safe and efficient operation of the vessel in the face of the Arctic's unforgiving environment. Life aboard the 50 Let Pobedi is a unique experience that demands exceptional skill, discipline, and teamwork from its crew. To ensure the safe and efficient operation of this nuclear-powered icebreaker, the crew undergoes rigorous training and follows strict protocols designed to address the challenges of working in the harsh Arctic environment. The training regimen for the crew of the 50 Let Pobedi is comprehensive and multifaceted. Before setting foot on the ship, crew members must complete a series of specialized courses covering topics such as nuclear safety, polar navigation, and emergency response procedures. These courses are designed to equip the crew with the knowledge and skills necessary to handle the complex systems and potential hazards associated with operating a nuclear icebreaker in the Arctic. Once on board, the crew participates in regular drills and simulations to maintain their proficiency and readiness. These exercises cover a wide range of scenarios, from reactor malfunctions and ice navigation challenges to medical emergencies and search and rescue operations. By repeatedly practicing these scenarios, the crew develops the muscle memory and quick decision-making skills needed to respond effectively in real-world situations. Daily life on board the 50 Let Bobetti is structured around a strict schedule and a clear chain of command. Each crew member has a specific role and set of responsibilities. Whether they are part of the navigation team, the engineering department, or the medical staff, the ship operates 24 hours a day, with crew members working in shifts to ensure continuous monitoring and operation of the vessel's systems. To maintain a safe and healthy working environment, the 50 Let Pobedi has implemented a range of protocols and safety measures. The ship's nuclear reactors are subject to stringent safety regulations and are constantly monitored by a dedicated team of engineers and technicians. The crew also follows strict radiation protection procedures, including the use of personal dosimeters and regular health checks. In addition to nuclear safety, the crew must also contend with the physical hazards of working in the Arctic. The ship is equipped with specialized gear and equipment designed to protect crew members from the extreme cold, wind, and ice. Crew members are trained in the proper use of this equipment and follow strict protocols for working on deck or participating in off-ship activities such as scientific expeditions or search and rescue missions. Despite the challenges and risks inherent in operating a nuclear icebreaker in the Arctic, the crew of the 50 Let Pobedi remains committed to their mission and to each other. The ship fosters a strong sense of camaraderie and teamwork, with crew members relying on each other's skills and support to overcome the obstacles they face. This shared sense of purpose and dedication is essential to the success of the ship's operations and the safety of all those on board. As the 50 Let Pobedi navigates the frozen landscapes of the Arctic, its crew stands ready to face whatever challenges lie ahead. But what exactly are the missions and tasks that drive this incredible vessel forward? From supporting groundbreaking scientific research to opening up new frontiers for exploration and discovery, the 50 Let Pobedi plays a vital role in expanding our understanding of the polar regions and their importance to our planet. The 50 Let Pobedi's missions extend far beyond its impressive icebreaking capabilities, as the vessel plays a crucial role in supporting scientific research and exploration in the polar regions. The ship's primary tasks include escorting cargo vessels through ice-infested waters, ensuring the safe passage of goods and supplies to remote Arctic communities and industrial sites. Additionally, the 50 Let Pobedi participates in search and rescue operations, providing vital assistance to ships and individuals in distress within the harsh and unforgiving Arctic environment. One of the most significant contributions of the 50 Let Pobedi is its support of scientific expeditions and research projects in the polar regions. The ship's ability to navigate through thick ice and reach remote locations makes it an invaluable platform for scientists studying a wide range of subjects, from climate change and marine biology to geology and atmospheric science. The vessel is equipped with state-of-the-art research facilities, including laboratories, survey equipment, and data collection systems, enabling scientists to conduct their work in the field with unprecedented efficiency and accuracy. The 50 Let Pobedi has been involved in numerous notable missions throughout its service, each contributing to our understanding of the Arctic and its critical role in the global ecosystem. 
In 2007, the ship participated in the Arctic 2007 expedition, which involved a historic descent of a submersible to the seabed beneath the North Pole. This mission aimed to gather data on the geological structure of the Arctic Ocean floor and to strengthen Russia's claim to the region's vast mineral resources. Another significant mission took place in 2017, when the 50 Let Pobedi escorted the liquefied natural gas LNG carrier Christophe de Margerie through the Northern Sea route. This marked the first time an LNG carrier had traversed the route without the need for an icebreaker escort, demonstrating the potential for increased commercial shipping in the Arctic as a result of climate change and technological advancements in ship design. The 50 Let Pobedi has also been instrumental in supporting the construction and maintenance of the infrastructure in the Arctic, including the development of oil and gas fields, the establishment of research stations, and the resupply of remote military bases. By providing reliable access to these sites, the ship has helped to expand human presence and economic activity in the region, while also ensuring the safety and well-being of those working in these challenging conditions. As climate change continues to shape the Arctic landscape, the importance of the 50 Let Pobedi and its missions becomes increasingly apparent. The ship's ability to collect valuable scientific data and support research projects in the region is essential to our understanding of the complex processes driving the transformation of the Arctic and its impact on the global climate system. Moreover, the vessel's role in facilitating safe navigation and supporting economic development in the region will remain critical as human activity in the Arctic continues to grow. The 50 Let Pobedi stands as a symbol of human ingenuity and resilience in the face of the Arctic's challenges, and its contributions to scientific knowledge and economic progress cannot be overstated. As the ship continues to navigate the frozen waters of the polar regions, it carries with it the hopes and aspirations of a global community seeking to understand and protect one of the planet's most vital and fragile ecosystems. As the 50 Let Pobedi continues to forge paths through the frozen Arctic, its impact on polar navigation and scientific exploration cannot be overstated. This marvel of engineering powered by nuclear reactors and equipped with state-of-the-art technology has revolutionized our ability to navigate and study the harsh polar environments. From supporting groundbreaking research projects to ensuring the safe passage of commercial vessels, the 50 Let Pobedi has played a vital role in expanding our understanding of the Arctic and its critical importance to the global ecosystem.